Hello, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And today we're just going to have a quick look around the plot after last week's marathon video all about self-sufficiency. Uh, this is just a quick weekly update to see what's going on. Okay, we're going to start just having a quick look around my plot. And I've had to put the covers back on because it's been so hot here and there's been basically no rain for I don't know, five weeks something like that and the covers are at least providing a little bit of shade i put some shade cloth on as well where um, I've got newly planted stuff and these nets netted covers also provide a little bit of shade so it's all about shade and water at the moment so I've just planted what will be the last of the um, the spinach in this bed and the New Zealand spinach is about ready to take over so that's pretty good. I'm also gradually clearing lettuce beds and in this case for example I've not cleared this one yet but I've planted some calabrese in there and as those lettuce heads are har harvested I'll make more room for the calabrese. I've just planted this bed here which is leeks interplanted with lettuces and that bed over there is golden beetroot interplanted with radish so I've also just cleared this bed and again this is leeks interplanted with lettuces and this one is spring onions with a few radishes down the outside this bed is pretty much finished now and just waiting for the sweet potatoes. So in here I planted my main crop leeks. All the other leeks that uh, I'll show you are just going to be harvested as baby leeks. This is my main spring onion bed at the moment and this bed is golden be uh, beetroot again I think um, it's actually a mix of different types of beetroot there's some burpees golden beetroot and I can't remember what the other one is and some more radish and this is the next bed to go in fact I'm harvesting these lettuces today and in there will go carrots and this is my current carrot bed this is ready to harvest now and I've just cleared the shard and in place of the shard more calabrese I've just put this temporary mesh cover on just to keep the pests away onions are still doing well very early brassicas are still doing well still eager to get this bed clear but at the moment I'm not quite ready to replant it and uh, I'm harvesting calabrese like mad at the moment I'm really loving calabrese fantastic stuff so these are my alderman peas and I finally got peas well got alderman peas I've got plenty of uh, delicante already and my beans are in and climbing they were half this height when I planted them a week ago so it's lovely to see them moving on although they're looking a little bit yellow and I've also popped in some uh, cucumbers so I'm really pleased now that some of my summer plantings are really growing nicely this is the uh, golden purslane and a bit of the green purslane there I think I prefer the golden another lettuce bed that's you know in the process of being cleared I love clearing beds and replanting them because as they get to the end of their season they all start looking a bit messy and the quality goes down so it's great to move on and here we are the New Zealand spinach so pleased that this is now growing really well and it's loving the uh, conditions in this cold frame with this lid on uh, I've been harvesting this actually quite strongly um, turnips there 
more leaks here but you can really see the difference between that one and this one which doesn't have that extra bit of uh, shade from the coal frame and then beetroot and the beetroot's really coming on now bulbing up nicely which is great because uh, we are definitely ready to start switching over from our stored beetroot and we've harvested about 10 beetroot now something like that next batch of beetroot there golden beets and uh, another lettuce bed so I think that's enough of that I've started moving stuff out of the polytunnel now so this is our uh, courgette one of the other courgette plants as you can see um, some lovely courgettes come in and we've been harvesting these you know two or three a day which is fantastic and the runner beans look at that just pinched out the top and lovely flowers now it's really coming on well so somewhere in there there's probably some runner beans if I could find them and then here's the peas look at that now yeah. just perfect these are munch too and um, We've been, I don't know, maybe only had about 30 of these so far, but uh, certainly plenty to be going at now there. Brassicas just holding at the moment while I wait for places to pop them. And I'll show you what I've been doing there in a minute. And water, blooming neck, we've just, the water's been switched off again. Five weeks without water and it, we've lost it. Fortunately, all my containers were all full. So, uh, no water crisis at the moment. Polytunnel, wow. Everything is going crazy in here. I was loving it. Tomatoes are growing so strongly. Look at that sweet corn. Not far off now. I have two more successions of sweet corn which I've moved uh, out of the polytunnel and they've actually gone home. Uh, onto the patio and uh, I'll show you the main crop of sweet corn in a minute. Celery is doing fantastic, we're harvesting that every day now and as other strawberries, we're getting a nice bowl full of those strawberries every day and they'll be out of that bed soon because I want to plant this bed up very quickly. Uh, right, what else have we got? Cucamelon climbing like mad and you planted that about three days ago cord and tomatoes going well and these are my sweet potatoes putting on some good growth cucumbers cucumbers trumpuccinos they are climbing they are growing the fastest of all of my squash those I'm looking forward to them being up here and climbing along these frames another cucamelon more celery again this is the bed that's been uh, harvested the most but just keeps on coming more cucumbers and I've said it a few times now but this bed is definitely going in a week's time it's it will be gone but right now I'm just enjoying the fact that I've got sprouts <laughs> they might be blown sprouts but uh, they are sprouts and they will be absolutely gorgeous so we're really looking forward to those and we've got broccoli purple sprouting broccoli I'm picking that today and uh, peppers so I've heard that you're meant to pinch out the tops of the peppers but I'm not exactly sure where the tops are um, so I've not done that yet and uh, let's just quickly have a look at the beetroot. Look at that. That is really nice now. Good size, nearly a tennis ball size. Really happy. Okay, let's move on. So now just walking down to Debbie's plot. And here we are. And this is plot's going really nicely too. Look at this kale. Started harvesting this kale now. It's fantastic. So lucky to have kale in our lives. We eat kale all year round. So this stuff 
got a bit attacked by the pigeons so it's not doing so well but this stuff that's in the mesh tunnel doing beautifully and just look at that little herb bed beautiful more New Zealand spinach doing pretty well ready for a bit of a harvest there garlic won't be long purple sprouting broccoli what's left of it now ready to come out oh, just look at this I don't actually like currants but uh, Debbie's really excited for this currant crop it's really luscious broad beans this is our second succession I'll show you the uh, main crop in a minute and everything else is fruit and it's all doing well really really pleased or broad beans okay let's go to Jenny's plot so I'm just walking to Jenny's plot and uh, harvesting is going a bit crazy at the moment we're harvesting maybe three times a week and uh, this year so far we've already harvested 1,500 litres so uh, a litre is a you know normal supermarket veg bag that's kind of what they sell carrots in or um, salad leaves in um, you know those sorts of things Jersey boiled potatoes you know sort of one litre containers 1,500 so far and we're doing about 200 a week at the moment here we are so this is Jenny's plot it's looking beautiful so potatoes well actually potatoes we start here we have now harvested about half of our really early potatoes and uh, these are in pilot and as you can see they're, they're ready for harvest and then we'll move on to the swift which are down there and then the charlottes which are down there and then the main crop We've got potatoes there but what else is a good here so garlic is looking great look at the onions there I'm really pleased with these onions they're all bulbing up really nicely and so far there's only one there I think that's gone to seed or is going to seed everything else is fine so these are ready for harvest now we have had a bit of a problem with this garlic though each individual clove has uh, thrown up a stalk so uh, that's not perfect but uh, that's just this variety germidor I think it is and uh, it's not gone well other than that all the other garlic is looking fantastic all right let's quickly move on look at the brassicas and the onions I'm really really pleased with this brassica bed it's, uh, it's really fantastic crawled in here the other day on my hands and knees and gave it a weed which is not the best experience I've had in my life I noticed all the onions are kind of falling over a bit and I'm not exactly sure why that is but uh, maybe somebody might be able to tell me there's not just onions in here there's uh, shallots as well and uh, but not much water I have lost maybe four brassicas out of this bed um, so I've just replanted them just just this bit in the middle here some of this wasn't planted at all so I've just popped uh, new plants in um, and some of it I've just replaced ones that weren't thriving or that had died in one I did just find cabbage root fly but other than that I'm not sure what was going on but this is looking pretty good now broad beans <laughs> I have a lot of broad beans and we've started harvesting these now and uh, yeah pretty good shard ready to come out now I've got a great new shard bed on my plot and uh, so that one is coming out soon ready to be planted and here is my squash bed and uh, main crop 
corn, sweet corn. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Planted it about a week ago. Just putting on some new growth. Everything's putting on new growth now. The plants weren't looking that healthy, so uh, I'm not surprised that uh, some of the outer leaves are not that fantastic. Sorry for all this noise. But the corn has done really well. It's really thickening up and growing really strongly. And some French beans. So that is pretty much it. Really happy. Anyway, I think we'll call that a tour. Actually, before we go, um, I know some of you like to see the uh, daily harvest, so I'll just uh, quickly show you around what I got. So yes, I've just done a quick harvest, and here she is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased um, with this. So we've got some lovely lettuces. Got fantastic brassicas now, as I was showing you. I've even got some sprouts there absolutely gorgeous purslane and at the bottom of that purslane is New Zealand spinach and then nice lovely fresh um, kale um, kale nero and uh, some curly kale there I've got some peas and some salad rocket some spinach some potatoes radish um, spring onions and some salad carrots there we go today's harvest see you soon oh, i'm just back from the allotment and uh, in the back garden so i thought i'd give you a quick tour around here just for completeness so these are the uh, early potatoes and um, we're harvesting a tub a week probably maybe two tubs a week of these at the moment and they're all planted nicely in a succession as you can see some of them are uh, getting ready for harvest i've got some strawberries here these are uh, my early and late so i've got two tubs of uh, super earlies and over here i've got two tubs of super lates and then this is my little growing bench because right now it's too hot um, to grow in the greenhouse or the polytunnel really so uh, we'll just do everything outside here and uh, stand this off the floor just to keep the slugs away and then i've got the first of my first succession of my tomatoes here my outdoors it's nice to have a few tomatoes at home as well as the huge amount at the allotment and basically each time i empty a tub of potatoes um, uh, we'll recondition the soil and pop a tomato in there. So what have I got here? So I've got gold and beetroot in this bed. And then I've got um, Colette's at the back and broccoli at the front. And I've got perpetual strawberries here. They're just building up for their first flush, which won't be very impressive. But later on in September time, um, they're really nice then. Cherry tree is doing pretty well. I've got the ones on the drive as well. well I've got more collets there, all those fibre collets. So that's going to be uh, an impressive collection there. And then I've got my carrots. I just harvested the carrots from that bed uh, that I planted at the same time as uh, last year as I planted these this year. So uh, these should see us through winter as our convenience crop. We'll have some more on the allotment. I've got my perpetual kales, which are growing very strong. This one went to flower, so I've just finally cut the uh, flowers off that because I've got cuttings, I don't need the seeds. And then this is the fruit garden. So I've got blueberries and gooseberries all around here. And I've got more blueberries all the way along here. And I've lost two of them. I'm not sure exactly why. And these are my successional uh, strawberry beds. We have got some at the allotment, you've probably seen, but we've got most of our strawberries here. 
because we've got cats and the cats keep basically protect them from the birds and then we've got a raspberry bed across the back there so it's all going pretty well oh and I suppose I've got my uh, oops. these are main crop potatoes and these are the ones that I intend to keep in the tubs uh, for a late crop and I've got some brassicas here I've got nowhere to plant them at the moment but I just pop them here because it's a bit shady in this corner and I've got some carrots which I showed you last time so with that I'll end the video and I'll see you soon